This is the plane that flies over 300 kilometers per hour or over 162 knots. We was flying from 100 kilometer here from Nitra to Senica. Uh, it, in the summer sunset, it was absolutely calm air and I was flying it uh, 15 minutes without touching the stick. The aircraft was just going straight and we had some, some power plant in the way we need to avoid it. So I said, okay, moved in the cockpit slightly to the left. Mm -hmm. So we moved slightly to the left. Aircraft started a little turning to the left. Then we had, uh, we had we already avoided this, so okay, stop the turning. So we moved in the cockpit to the right and aircraft stopped turning and was continuing the straight flight. <laughs> in tandem seaters, front, uh, pilot, rear, passenger are quite far each other. We have front pilot uh, uh, more or less in uh, CG or close to CG. So whatever weight we have on the front seat, it uh, has small influence on CG position, but uh, the weight on the rear seat moves CG significantly backward. Primary how we was handle this as a design of aircraft was that uh, shark tail surfaces, it means uh, the fin as well stabilizer, is about 30% uh, bigger than is uh, standard rule for design of, aircraft, of light aircraft like this. Uh, we have not only a uh, big surface of the stabilizer, but we have as well quite thick airfoil comparing to other aircrafts or our competitors. Uh, and this results in a bigger radius of, of uh, leading edge than uh, airfoil or, or uh, the whole stabilizer has better uh, characteristics close to the, on the high angles and uh, uh, it means it brings uh, uh, quite good uh, properties on the uh, limits of the envelope. We have a 100% statically balanced uh, elevator to, to handle the flatter and a really large, quite big surface of uh, trim tap. On the prototype it was uh, something like this and uh, we, we made, we doubled it after the first tests. Uh, uh, we was uh, trying to handle uh, the rules which require to be fully trimmed aircraft even on the low speed with the flaps and uh, plus we added uh, next system to handle this with, uh, with uh, flaps when, when we are opening flaps there is spring system which uh, brings the force to the, to the elevator control and when you are opening flaps elevator, elevator is uh, in really pulled little out. Uh, this was uh, primary to solve this problem with the trimming on the low speed. But secondary effect of this is that uh, shark when you open flap need not trimming, so it's, it has an uh, auto trim feature. When we worked on uh, uh, certification of Shark for new 600 kilo category in Czech, even in Germany, there is one uh, significant difference to the old rules that is uh, mandatory defines the weight on the front on the both seats in the aircraft so for us it means even in the front seat or even on the rear seat in czech rules it is 100 kilo and in german rules it is 110 kilo to handle this we, i was working about one year to to find solution to stay within the the cg limits which 
were uh, defined by the rules, some, some properties of the aircraft. And uh, the solution for us was to use the movable ballast. Movable ballast means that we have uh, six kilogram weight, uh, which is uh, placed in the front on the, uh, in the motor cooling or in the bagage. And uh, the rule is very simple. If you are in aircraft solo, this, this uh, weight is in, uh, placed in bagage. In, if you are two person in aircraft, you have to place the weight to the front. And uh, this flag is visible for the pilot, so he can check. It indicates him that ballast is placed in the front. Plus, he has uh, on the panel as well electronic indicator. There is LED which show him if it is placed in the front or in the back. This um, reduces the CG travel about four uh, percent of the aircraft. So we stay in the limits even with 110 kilo person on the rear seat. We understand this, that it can significantly improve uh, the safety of the, of the aircraft. Even if the uh, pilot uh, forget about the, the ballast and have it placed in the wrong, wrong uh, place and he finds it in, in uh, flight, so it's not an not, uh, uh, not, uh, indication to use a parachute, uh, but he can, without any problem, continue his flight just okay if uh, if he's solo and and forget the fo he forgot uh, the ballast in the front so good to for the landing with the flaps uh, it's better to don't go on the full flaps and to use uh, little higher speeds for the landing let he he has a really comfortable uh, control of the aircraft here are some placards which, which show uh, the basics, uh, what, is, uh, what is possible and uh, what is not possible on, on the seats, on the bagage and with the fuel. Uh, generally, if, if uh, he, it's, it's a solo flight that is only pilot and not, not a rear seat passenger, uh, fuel is not limited, baggage is uh, limited only with a, with a maximum 25 kilo. If there is already already passenger, there is some steps what he can use and cannot use. We made application where you just click with your mobile it will open open uh, the small app. When you use it in the past, you have already inside the empty weight of your aircraft and position of the CG for empty aircraft. And uh, the rest is uh, very simple. There are slides where you define the weight of the pilot, weight of the passenger, and you will see where you are in the CG envelope. When we sit first time pilots to the shark for test flights and after the test flights we ask them for the biggest uh, biggest impression so 80 percent of uh, pilots uh, answer that uh, the, the, the aircraft is very stable all these features large tail surfaces with thick airfoil large trim tab, advanced auto trim feature, movable ballast and user-friendly mobile application makes the Shark extremely friendly and safe airplane to fly.